Thank you for purchasing a genuine NeuroSeal pressure controller. This video covers calibration of the Series 4900 pneumatic pressure controller. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up and calibrating a differential gap controller. The controller output is set at the factory and normally doesn't require further adjustment. However, if recalibration is required, you'll need to vary the pressure at the control port through the two desired switch points. The position of the pressure setting knob determines where the switch action occurs. The output of the controller switches from zero to full supply pressure with rising process pressure, which is a direct acting controller, or with falling process pressure, which is a reverse acting controller. The proportional band adjustment determines the differential gap between the switch points for zero to full supply pressure and full supply pressure back to zero output. This is commonly known as the dead band. To start up a differential gap controller, first make sure that the supply pressure is connected to the controller supply input port and that it's properly regulated. Set the proportional band adjustment for the proper differential gap. If it's necessary to change the differential gap, contact a NorSeal factory expert. For more information, download our new series 4900 Operations and Maintenance Manual at www.norseal.com.